Here's how I use Notion to track all my daily habits in one place. And I can access this on my phone, on the go. It's super easy, let me show you. Now that we're going into a brand new year, I think it's important for us to be super intentional about the type of person that we wanna become and also develop habits around it. So if you're thinking about uh, cultivating good habits or breaking out of bad habits, I highly recommend you read this book. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's such a good read. If you are thinking about like changing your mindset, you know, developing an identity about the type of person that you want to become so that you can get to that next level, this book is for you. So now I'm going to do a quick notion tour, kind of walk you through what my thought process looks like in putting this together. So this is my Notion day planner and this is the first thing I look at every day in the morning and I've been using Notion for years and the reason why it's one of my favorite tools is because I can customize this to however I like unlike many other tools out there for free. So let me quickly walk you through this. On the side here I do have the day broken down by time so I can see what I'm gonna do that day and I do have an MIT section. MIT stands for most important task and I have about three a day. So here I do have a motivational quote and the time and then I have today's meals already written out. This keeps me organized and stress free because I know exactly what I'm going to eat that day. I also have a section to write down my affirmations and other personal to do's that day. I also have a section for weekly planning so if I brainstorm things that I want to do that week it's all down here. So I have a quick access section so I can quickly jump to certain parts of my Notion dashboard so I'm going to click on habit tracker. This is what I've been using to track my habits daily and it does have a day view, week view, month view, calendar view, and a history view. So let me walk you through that. So these are the daily habits that I want to check off at the end of each day and I do have a graph that automatically updates as I check these off. I also have a progress section so I can see how much of progress I made each day. So for an example, say that I already completed my skincare routine, so I want to check that off. I can check it off here if I'm on a desktop computer or my tablet, but if I'm on my mobile device, I'm going to click on this button and then I'm going to click yes and that would automatically check the skincare routine off and then also update the graph. And the reason I have these buttons is because I use Notion on my phone a lot, so I don't want to just create things that are pretty, but I want to make sure that it's functional. So that is why I create dashboards that are compatible across devices. I also have different views and calendar is one of my favorite views because you can see all the habits that you checked off in this kind of way. I can also check off my habits here and then when I do check it off it automatically updates my progress which is super satisfying to see. And also I can track progress by habit. So for an example, you can see that I haven't done a pretty good job in reading or meditating in the past couple of days. So that is my habit tracker and I created this using Notion databases and if you want a copy of my template, let me know in the comments and I'll make one available for you.